Namaste Future ACC, I'm a proud friend from Vishnu Vijay and I welcome you all to another session of the APM Revision Chart Series. So folks, in this session, we will be discussing about some methods of budgeting. This is really relevant for the APM exam because in your exam, there could be a scenario provided to you where uh, a particular organization is adopting a particular system of budgeting and you may have to recommend as to whether this particular uh, system is suitable for the organization or not. And if not, then, uh, you know, what exactly would the uh, budgeting system or what exactly is the budgeting system that would be suitable for the organization as well. Okay, folks, you may have to recommend these things in the exam if such a scenario arises. Now, uh, so let's understand as to what the methods of budgeting are, shall we? First of all, we have the traditional method of budgeting that is incremental budgeting. And what do we do here? You know, to prepare the next year's budget, what we do is we take the current year actual results and make some adjustments to it, isn't it? So that's basically it. However, uh, well, the advantage is that it's more suitable for organizations uh, operating in a stable working environment or a business environment. And the disadvantage is that we may be carry forwarding the inefficiencies that was occurred in the current year to the next year as well, isn't it? So that is basically the advantage and disadvantage of uh, having an in incremental or following an in incremental budgeting approach. Secondly, we have zero based budgeting and zero based budgeting is more suitable for project based businesses. Okay, folks. So the idea is basically simple. We prepare everything from scratch. We're not carrying forwarding any previous years, uh, you know, budgets or anything like that. We're just starting everything from scratch itself. That's basically the idea behind zero based budgeting. As the name suggests, we are starting from zero. Simple as that. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's more suitable for uh, organization with a lot of, let's say, research and development projects or investments, etc. Uh, and it, it, it involves a great deal of time to prepare these things, to prepare these sort of budgets. And of course, it involves a great deal of, uh, you know, managerial skill in order to determine things like decision packages to rank decision packages, etc. as well. Okay, folks, but the positive side is, as I mentioned earlier, we're not carrying forward any inefficiencies, isn't it? Since we're starting everything from scratch. So that's basically it. Now, moving on to the next method of budgeting, that is the rolling budgets. So what are rolling, uh, rolling budgets all about? Or we also call it as continuously updated budgets as well. Okay, folks, why exactly is that? As the name suggests, these are updated continuously, isn't it? So the idea here is that after, let's say, a month or a particular quarter, we take the actual results and revise the next quarter's budget based on the actual results uh, that has that has recently ended. Okay, folks. So that's basically the idea here. The advantage or the suitability of this particular budget is commonly for an organization operating in a rapidly changing environment. Okay, folks, such as uh, an organization in the technology industry or fashion industry, etc. That's basically it. And secondly, the disadvantage is obviously that, you know, there's a great deal of cost and time that is involved in continuously updating these budgets, isn't it? So some people may find it a bit, you know, demotivating or some people may find that uh, the cost is not exceeding the benefit, etc. That's uh, those are some problems with these sort of budgets as simple as that and finally we have activity based budgets or abc budgeting or abb we call it as we call it so this is more suitable for complex organization why because we are using abc principles within uh, the preparation of budgeting that's basically the idea behind abb or activity based budgeting so what we do is rather than just carrying forward things from the prior year like we do in incremental or starting everything from scratch what we do is we take a look at each and every cost that we have within the budget and we identify the cost drivers. By identifying the driving factors of each and every cost, we can prepare our budget in a bit more efficient manner. Okay, folks. And as I uh, suggested earlier, it's more suitable for complex organization. Now, I'm just going to simply revise the suitability aspect here once more. The incremental budget is more suitable for organizations with, that have a stable business environment. For zero-based budgets, it's more suitable for organization which have a lot of projects or, you know, development programs, etc. And of course, uh, we have ABB or activity-based budgeting, which is more suitable for uh, complex structures. And of course, we also have uh, rolling budgets, which are more suitable for an organization operating in a rapidly changing environment. Okay, folks, so this is just a brief, uh, you know, uh, revision of the methods of budgeting. So keep on revising these concepts, those are really important. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can apply these knowledge to various scenario uh, situations that can occur in the exam, isn't it? So keep on revising these, okay, folks. So 
That's all that I wanted to cover in this particular session. Of course, we will be, you know, taking a look at some more interesting topics as well. Uh, so subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative videos. This is Vishnu Jai signing off for now. Thank you.